Okay. So in this talk, I'm going to explain how the meaning of the partial derivative depends on the entire coordinate system. And what that essentially means is that the meaning of the partial derivative with respect to a particular variable depends not just on the fact that you are changing or differentiating with respect to that variable, but also on the fact that you are keeping certain other variables constant. So let me do one example and then I'll explain what I mean. So here is a function u. It's a linear function of two variables. It's 2x plus 3y. And so these two variables. And I'm asking for the partial derivative of u with respect to x holding y constant. So what's that? 2. 2. Because this part differentiates to 0 and this differentiates to 2. Now I'm going to consider this function in a slightly different way. So I'm going to take v as x plus y. You hear? So I, mean, I want to write u in terms of v. Or rather in terms of x and v. So I want to stop thinking about y. I want to think u in terms of x and v. Now in order to do that, I first write y in terms of x and v. So what's y? v minus x. v minus x. So what's u in terms of x and v? So it's 2x plus 3. Plug in y as v minus x. And now simplify. So that becomes 3v minus, minus x. x. And if I want, I can write this as a new letter. So remember, the, the output variable, I can use the same letter when I change the coordinates because it's still the same thing, u, but the function description is different. So I have to use a different letter, f versus g. So what's du dx now? Sorry? Uh, minus 1. Minus 1. Because 3v differentiates to 0, so you get minus 1. So, why did you get different answers here and here? Is it loud and clear? Why did you get different answers here and here? Uh, for the same in thing. The, in the formal case, we are holding y constant. Okay. And in, this, in the other case, we are holding v constant. And what's v? Uh, the yeah. sum of x and y. Yeah, so this one, you are holding y constant. And this one, you are holding x plus y, which is v constant. So the, the value of the partial derivative doesn't just depend with respect to x, doesn't just depend on the fact that you're different with respect to x. It also matters that you're holding y constant. Because if instead of y, you're holding x plus y constant, you'd get a different number, right? You got 2 in the original thing, and you got minus 1 here. Okay, let me explain this slightly differently using the uh, using a geometric picture. Let's go here to the right side. So let's say I have this plane, and I have a point in the plane here. Now, what does this plane represent? It's not the graph of the function. Rather, it's it's representing points in the domain of the function. So every point here is a possible input. The x-coordinate of the point will be the x-coordinate of the input. And the y-coordinate of the point will be the y-coordinate of the input. So suppose I have this point, And that's an input point here, or here. And here is going to be, so we want to differentiate this with respect to x, what that means is essentially you want to move slightly along this line. What's this line of the form? It's of the form y equals some constant. Right? The y coordinate is fixed. It's a parallel line to the x-axis. The y coordinate is fixed. And if you move slightly along this direction, the u value, the output will change. And you have to figure out how it changes with respect to x. So this is measuring the f sub x, the first interpretation. Rather, the, the, if you, the partial derivative or the directional derivative in most likely in this direction represents f sub x. Let me just write the word directional derivative. If you don't know what that is, that's fine. It's just if you know what directional derivatives are, it will make sense. Okay. There is also, there's another way of thinking about this one. Now, when you're doing this, what are you doing? You're moving x. When you're, when you're trying to calculate du dx in the second interpretation, we're moving x, but are we keeping y fixed? No. What are we doing to y? Uh, if we increase x, then we are decreasing y. Decreasing y by the same amount so that the total x plus y remains constant. So what we're really doing is 
and vice versa. If we decreased x, you would be increasing y correspondingly. What you're really doing is you're moving along a line of this form. What type of line is this? Is x plus y constant? We have got the picture. So what we're doing is we're moving along this type of line and trying to figure out how does u change if we move along this line. So if we increase x and decrease x correspond. Decrease sorry. If we increase x and decrease y correspondingly. And and so this partial is representing sort of the directional derivative in this direction. Now it's not technically the directional derivative because of some issues of scaling, but this partial is representing the derivative when you move in this direction. And so that's why these two are different. They're different representing derivatives in different directions.